Let's begin our coverage with CBS 4's Carly Barnett. She's live at the command center. Carly. Elliot, Lauren, the effort goes on and it's going to continue throughout the night. They are working 24 hours in an effort to find anybody in the rubble. Now, officials have very much emphasized that this is still a search and rescue mission, and they say it's the hope of finding these survivors that continues to keep them going. But unfortunately, tonight we did learn the sad news that this disaster has claimed the lives of 11 people. Rescuers continued to chip away at the concrete rubble as the search and rescue mission moved to day five. The number of people accounted for now stands at 136, with 150 unaccounted for. The number of confirmed deaths is 11. Miami Dade Police has identified three more of the deceased Marcus Joseph Guara, Frank Clayman, Michael David Altman. As we come across a, a small void, that's what we continue to focus and continue moving, continue digging through deeper to see if we find anything further. And crews, hundreds of people on hand, still look for survivors. I do know that time is ticking, and all the different variables that go into the possibilities of somebody surviving uh, change and are extremely dynamic. Um, so I'm still hopeful. Um, I pray and I work hard, um, hoping that. We're going to get to more people. Dr. Benjamin Abo is an EMS physician and notes the challenges in facing this type of collapse. We have been actively searching for signs of where people might be and any survivors. Um, we're trying to do things as safe as possible so that we don't get hurt, our dogs don't get hurt, and also so that if there is any survivors, so that they don't get further hurt. Steve Rosenthal survived the collapse, rescued from his balcony. And I heard people yelling, help me, help me, get me out. Mm. That was pretty scary. At this time, it still hasn't been determined what caused the catastrophic collapse, but there were apparent concerns. An engineer's report from 2018 showed the Champlain Towers South Condo building had abundant cracking in the concrete columns, beams, and walls in the parking garage. Major structural damage to the concrete slab caused by failed waterproofing that, if not repaired in a timely fashion, would cause the concrete to deteriorate. But the top priority continues to be search and rescue and eventually bringing peace to these families. Now, to be clear, despite these reports, at this point, it has not been determined what has caused this collapse. That's going to be a very lengthy investigation. We did learn tonight, though, that another lawsuit has been filed. This is now the second class action lawsuit that we know of so far. Live in Surfside, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News Tonight.